Hey, it's Otago here at Rock Fitness, and today I'm gonna show you how to read a nutrition table, okay? Because you can, I'll try a, I'll try a bad diet, it's very important that you know what you put in your body. So if we can get a little closer, uh, and I'm gonna show you, this is what you see on the back of any product on the nutrition facts uh, table. So I'm gonna show you where most people make the mistakes and what you really need to pay attention in any product you buy, any type of food you're gonna eat, okay? So at the very top, what you're gonna see is gonna be the serving size. Now this is very important because a lot of times it'll say a very small serving size here. Let's say like, uh, for example, two ounces, right? And so in two ounces, there's only 20 calories. And so now you think you're reading this and you think, oh, I can eat this whole thing because it's only 20 calories. But you didn't take into account that, you know, there's 10 servings in that, in that package or in that container or whatever. So when you see this, to really know how many calories total, which is what you want to know, what you need to do is you need to multiply the amount of calories in that serving by the, the uh, amount of servings. So really, it's not 20 calories in this food, it's going to be 200, okay? So that's number one. Always pay attention to the serving size. There are some foods that what you'll see in the serving size is the total, um, the, the total amount of food in it. For example, say one bar or one slice or whatever, and that's all that comes in it. In that case, that, and then yeah, what you see in there, that's the calories. But when you see more servings per container, always, always do that matter, okay? Now, another thing that I see a lot of people focusing on and a lot of people fall for, when you see total fat, sometimes you see a, a packaged food on the front and it says, a lot of times it'll say, it'll say fat free or it'll say syrup trans fat or something. Well, whatever you see on the front, I want you to completely ignore, okay? All that matters is what's in the back. So a lot of times what companies do to make you think that you're eating healthy, they'll say in the front, zero trans fat, like huge, and you think, oh my God, this is fat free, I can eat it. But then you'll see here, and it has 18 grams of fat, saturated fat, okay? So what you really need to see is go to the back and look what it says here, okay? Because since, since they are different types of fat, they can say legally on the front of the package, say it has zero trans fat because it doesn't say zero fat, okay? So always look for the, the total amount you'll see here, okay? Now another thing, <clears throat> if you're trying to lose weight, one of the things you want to limit is going to be your sodium intake because sodium doesn't really make you fat or anything, but what it does is it makes you hold a lot of water, retain a lot of fluid so you're bloated and you know, I'm sorry, it's really hard to lose that weight, not because you're not losing weight, but because you have all this water that you're retaining in your body, okay? And then one of the last things, this is where a lot of people mess up as well, usually in the front they'll say um, zero grams of sugar or something like that. And you see, you go back and some products, what they do, they have zero sugar, but then you don't see this a lot, but you see it every now and then. It says another category here. It says uh, sugar alcohols, and then it says 27 grams, okay? This is going to have the exact same effect of, of, um, of sugar in your body, okay? Sugar is your number one enemy if you're trying to lose weight. So it might say sugar-free, sugar but you still have sugar alcohols, and 27 grams, that's a lot. You don't want to eat this type of food if you want to lose weight, okay? But let's say you don't have that. A lot of foods that are fat-free, or uh, food or drinks, they'll say zero fat, but then they have like 34 grams of sugars, okay? So if you're trying to lose weight, remember, stay away from foods that say fat-free or zero sugar or whatever, something like that. Really ignore the front, just go in back and look at this, okay? You want foods that are lower in sugar, you know, ideally zero sugar or, or less than five grams. Not for serving, but for the whole amount you're gonna eat. And the last one, the protein, that's nothing to worry about because that's your number number one. Uh, protein, fruits and veggies is the number one thing you want to eat. So this one will never be too high, okay? What you want to do is actually eat foods that include this nutrient right here. Okay, so there you have it. Number one, check the serving sizes with the calories. Make sure that the fats are not just one type of fat that is zero, but the overall, uh, the total fat. Sodium, you want to keep it low. 
and carbs. Remember, carbs are your number one enemy, even, enemy, even more, even worse than the fat. So if you see something that says sugar free or zero grams of sugar or something like that, always look at the back, make sure that the sugar is low, make sure there's no sugar added in there, and this is the, the type of carb that we want. If it's a dietary fiber, then that's okay, you want to have that. 